Hello, in this video, we will use test ng and the maven command to run the program that we wrote. And in this one, we will run that in parallel as well. So we'll launch uh, the three browsers in parallel and we'll generate two HTML reports. So, and we'll use this repo going forward to create the pipeline as well. So I'm using this for uh, the Azure DevOps series that I'm doing. And this video would be very useful for somebody who's starting with their automation journey. In the previous video, we saw that uh, how you can run the classes and the method that only we wrote very simple of launching the browser. And in this, we'll take it forward that how you can run it via test ng and via the Maven command and we'll generate reports. And there is a summary for both the parts that I have created. And it will be very useful for somebody who is new to automation to start their journey so that they don't get stuck with the basics and get stuck uh, while running their first program. So this is to help them as well. So hope you like it. So let's begin. the test ng part also here so what you have to do is go here and in settings in settings there is a plugin called as create test ng xml i have already installed you can click this marketplace and click on install if it asks for uh, restarting intellij you can do so and the best part in intellij is you need not to press control s every few minutes it's it automatically saves whatever uh, you are doing right so after i did that you will see a file got generated here test ng so yeah okay so this is my test ng xml file so it has all the programs now you can even run it from here uh, right click that file and click run and this way it will run the via test ng xml file so that is another way of running it so you can give certain configuration over here right for example which classes you want to run or which methods you want to run and this will help us in running in parallel that also I'll show you. So it is telling us that which all methods are running as of now. So we have included Firefox, all the three methods that we have written so far and the single class that we have, right? So this is our uh, file. So I'll show you that how even we can run it in and what is the advantage of running via test ng file that you will see that we'll see the HTML reports uh, getting generated as well because we have used test ng to run our test. And this time you see that it is running Chrome first, right? We have written preserve order equal to true. So these are some parameters by which you can control things. So this is my Chrome browser that got launched right and then edge will come and then Firefox will come and you will see the all the tests here and they are running one by one. So the time taken will be more compared to if we run all of them in parallel. Right, so if you see that all of the three browsers got open. Right, or you can have different tests where in uh, you are writing various different things. I have just shown you uh, three different browsers, right? When you are running your uh, test by right clicking and clicking on this run, if report is not coming, what you can do is uh, you can click here and edit configuration. And uh, under this, you can come to listeners and in listeners, you can just click on this uh, use uh, default reporters. So if you click this, then only the test ng, this test output report will come. Otherwise it will not come. And uh, so there are two ways you can generate report. The test ng report uh, comes in the test output folder and the other report comes in this surefire report. So how to get that when you will run, like you can open a terminal by clicking on this plus symbol. And then if you run MV and test, then your test uh, basically whatever the at the rate test tags are there, those uh, tests will get run and you will get a report under surefire report. Here is the email label report, like it's a one page HTML so that you can uh, send it out, right? It's easy to send the one page HTML. Even there is an inbuilt browser capability that's here, like 
Uh, you can just click on it and you will see that how this report is looking right and another way is uh, which will come under this test so one is under surefire reports right the other one is under test output report so in case when you run via command line that is mvn test using mvn tool uh, which we installed then the report will come over here this would be useful in our ci pipeline that will create in the next video and the one last thing that i'll tell you that how to run all this in parallel you just have to do is here you can just so since i ran the test it's starting so what you have to do is you can mention a configuration that is parallel equal to methods so these are the methods and this will run in parallelly now right let me kill whatever is running so i can get I would run this file so that uh, this configuration gets run. So now you will see that instead of launching one by one in Chrome, Edge and Firefox, it will be launched parallelly and three browsers will open in my system since I have run this file and the output will get generated in this test output directory. In case of any doubts, you can just uh, based in comments and I'll try to help you starting with the web automation in Java. So you will see that the time that was it was taking earlier, now it will get reduced because all of them are running in parallel. Now you see instead of one by one, all three are running together because earlier it was first this, then this, then this. So now you will see that all of them are running parallelly. One of the browser is already launched, that is Edge. Now we have Chrome and even Firefox will launch in a second. So even Firefox is there, which got launched now. So you will see that the uh, time will get significantly reduced when uh, it's being run in parallelly, right? So let's do a little revision. What we did, firstly, we downloaded the, if all we downloaded the zip file, we unzip it in a particular uh, location and that bin path, we have set it here in Maven home and path. And then we ran the Maven command to check it out, MVN minus minus version, whether by opening a new command prompt that whether Maven is being installed correctly and not. And then we installed the community edition of IntelliJ. After that, uh, we created a new project by clicking here. Then you go to new and project. And here from Maven archetype, we selected the... So this is the one Maven archetype quick start. You click on this, you already ha have various versions that you can have because 1.8 is may no longer be supported soon in selenium you can select 11 here and click on create give some time it will create a structure like this then we went into the pom.xml file and we removed the junit dependency from the dependencies and instead we ended added the dependency for testng and selenium we give it some time or you can just click this button and you will see that selenium and testng are here it already created a file for us. We just remove the test and mention at the rate test, give a name, declared the web driver so that we can use it in all the functions, right? And then we wrote our code and it was running fine. And then we, uh, we added an extension from here. We went to settings. We added a plugin called as testng, create testng file. Right, and it's already installed in my system. Right, create testng XML file. So I installed that, right click on my project and created our testng XML file. And this was our testng XML file, which was having all the details, right? It was running sequentially and then we did this and it was able to run parallelly. And if test output folder is not generating for you, then you'll have to click here right in edit configuration and there you will go to listeners and select this checkbox. You will see the test output folder is there. And also from terminal, if you give the command MVN test, then all the tests were running and corresponding reports were generating in Surefire. Like here you will see that email 
label HTML report. This is the report which you can open in a browser or if you want to see here, you can click here and you will see on the right side and how these reports are getting generated because in your pom.xml, there were other dependency that got uh, by default. For example, the Surefire plugin and even the pro reports plugin. So we had that Surefire reports that got created. Otherwise with TestNG, we got this report as well. So you can explore this more. Hope you are able to run your first program without any problem. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can uh, ask me in the comment section. In the next video, we'll take this to a repo as your repo and we'll proceed further. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel.